will Kemp to try to continue off what he did against Atlanta, which was also in this ballpark. And over the course of this season, exceptional at home at 3 and 0 with a sub two. Dodger Stadium, a pitcher's park, captures a few of those mistakes early in this year. Gave up the home run ball, but has avoided that. Just wants to be more consistent, as Alana talked about with Dave Roberts. And how does conviction leak into your mechanics or syncing up? Well, it leaks in because you've got to have that belief right in the foot strike. Coming inside after that and tying him up, attack him with a fastball. Two gone. 92 with some tail on it. So visually, it looks like it's going to be a strike the whole time. A 2 2 and a strikeout as the bottom falls out. Good looking change up for Maeda. Strikeout number two. Buckle up and go for the stretch run. Fastball, fastball, slider for Maeda to get France on three pitches. He's got three Ks through two. Couple of infield hits in this inning. Seeger and Verdugo. Now Maeda trying to take advantage. Another one, two. Fly ball down the right field line. It could be trouble. It is. It's a two run single for Kenta. Drops it inside the line to give the Dodgers a 2 0 lead. Framil Reyes is a very powerful individual playing right field, but he does not have the longest of strides and does not get the best jumps. And so this one falls in an area where sometimes the second baseman gets it, but most times the right fielder gets it. Those short little strides turning them over, but not covering much ground. And Maeda says barrels are overrated. A one two. Got him. A slider working. His fourth K one gone here in the third. And that is the eight hitter by the way the eight hitter. He swings and misses at a slider for strike three. It's just interesting to see that he's kind of been pushed to the back burner in the playing rotation. And maybe he'll reemerge with more at bats and more playing time later in the year if they fall out of what they expect to be in somewhere in the race. If it's for a wild card, if it's for the division. Especially because of the changeup. Speaking of, a little firmer than usual at 87, but it gets a swing and a miss. That's five consecutive Ks. Here in the third, he gets Strom. Then he gets Margot. Then he gets Garcia. He's also driven in the two runs tonight. When you're locked in, it's like eight out of ten times you're in the general area or hitting your spot exactly. Sticks down and away and does exactly what he wants to with back to back sliders to get Reyes for the second time tonight. A miss and then two perfect pitches. Fastball trying to go away goes down the middle then two sliders. Outstanding the fastball sped him up. The slider looks like a fastball down the middle where the miss was ends up on the corner and get him. Another 3 2, and he gets him. Executed the slider. Eight strikeouts for Kenta Maeda through four scoreless innings. Various pitchers, in the case of Chris Paddock last night, and in Matt Strom's case, rarely do they go much above 90. Maeda punches another base hit to right. Off of Garcia's glove. And assuming that gets ruled a hit, he'll be two for two. Came into the game hitting 188. He's up over 200, creeping up against probably like about 230 with a few of bats as pitchers it get. Nice job. Kind of shortened up a little bit. It is a hit. It's the seventh of the night for LA. Outside. Maeda continues to go there. And the Padres are then in the back of their mind that they have to be aggressive protecting it. Already an aggressive lineup. Maeda has been able to rack up nine Ks as a result. In 60 pitches. Wow. <laughs> no walks, 60 pitches, nine Ks. And he's one out away from finishing off the fifth. Uh-huh. With eggs. 
One two. Strikeout number 10 for Kenta Maeda. And we're only at the halfway point. He's got his 11th on three pitches. Strikeouts down this year for Kenta compared to his norm, but okay, he's starting to get back there to the totals we're used to. This one's going to be a little bit above it. Got him with a fastball. A dozen K's tonight for Kenta. He didn't need the setup pitch. He just went right to the heater. 93 off the edge of the plate. The grimace sometimes when he gets hit with a foul ball on his own leg and then also when he's putting the extra effort into the heater. And Dave Roberts is going to take him out after his 12th strikeout of the night. With a rookie Austin Allen 0 for 2 tonight on deck. Kenta doesn't look too upset about coming out. His favorite part about pitching in the majors, the ovation after a night well done.